All right, so this volume, we're going to focus on uh, DS, GameCube Wii, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color games, and a lone PSP game. So let's get this one started. I finally got my hands on Project X Zone. Yeah. Uh, I always wanted to try this game out, and I got it for really cheap. Uh, this, this type of game, you can't, this is really hard to, to come to America usually because it has all these different characters from different uh, uh, companies. And there's like always issues with license agreements and stuff like that. So this is really cool that we got this game over here. So I'm looking forward to find, playing that one of these days soon. I finally got another game, uh, Game Boy Player for the GameCube. Uh, the Game Boy Player for the GameCube was a really good system. Uh, I played uh, imitations like uh, another one's called the Advanced. Uh, I can't remember what the system called, but basically it's a Super Nintendo cartridge that you could put Game Boy Advance games into and play them off of your system, which was it was it's cool if you don't have a Game Boy Player. I mean, it's, it's, be, it's good as a backup result, but I'd rather have a Game Boy Player. Uh, Mario Power Tennis. Uh, these games are really fun. A lot of people don't know about these games. Well, they do. Well, some do. I don't really hear anybody talking about them, but these are really fun games to have. Uh, they make uh, sports games fun the way they should be, not all technical and real life like that. If I want to uh, play a sport, I'll go outside, you know what I mean, to play that type of game. Uh, Evolution Worlds, got this for really cheap. Uh, I was going to get the Dreamcast version, but I went ahead and got this one uh, because it's two games in one, basically. So, happy to, I'll be happy to play that one of these days. Mario Super Baseball. Uh, yeah, this one is uh, really fun, too. Uh, I played a little bit of it a couple of days ago, actually. Uh, these are, these anything... Mario and sports seems to be, they're really good games. Just keep that in mind. All right, we've gotten to the Wii games. I don't know if I put this in my last video. I didn't even look, but just in case I did. Uh, I, was, I don't know, I'll just put it up again. Miramasu for the Wii, got that. Uh, Sam and Max, uh, I didn't know they made a, a, a Wii version of these games. Uh, there's one more I need. Uh, this one is the Beyond Time and Space. Got that for like $2.00. Bully Scholarship Edition, got this game for ten bucks. Uh, this is the, the the defined version of the Bully game. Uh, I don't know which is is better, the Xbox 360 version or the Wii version. Uh, I heard there were some problems with the Xbox 360 version a while back. Alien Syndrome for the Wii, uh, very fun game. Sakura Wars, I have the PS2 one, but I just I don't know. You don't see this one too much, so I picked it up for cheap. This around I think it was like eight bucks. Survival Horror, Obscure, very cool game. Uh, this is like a co-op survival horror game. Like It takes you back to the Resident Evil days. It's really fun. The only thing I didn't like about this version of it is that you have to use the Wii Nunchuck. Uh, you can't use the classic control, but you know, you'll know you get used to it. It's, it's not bad at all. Counterforce, I just got this for 99 cents. I haven't even played it yet, but what I saw in the video, it looks like arcade like It's something you could just get into and play real fast and get out. Uh, one of the reviewers I saw a review, it said it the game will last maybe 30 minutes, so that's like that's cool to just jump in something real quick. Metal Slug Anthology. Uh, I have all the, uh, the other anthologies and collections for it, so this was the last one I needed. Didn't need it, but it was cheap. Picked it up. You know, if I want to play Metal Slug on the Wii. All right, the lone PSP game is Guilty Gear Judgment. Uh, I got this for cheap. I used to have it years ago. I had the Japanese version years ago, which is called Guilty Gear X reload or something like that for the PSP but I got this one and uh, yeah it's really good it's two games in one basically it's a beat up and a regular game so it's pretty cool I just got this today classic bubble bobble uh, I'm kind of irritated irritated because the guy who sent it to me like messed up on tape he damaged the box while sending it to me uh, I'm not worried about it because I got it for super cheap but still you know like you don't put like tape around the, the box you could peel off of the, the label I had to be very careful not to mess it up, but I got it. So, uh, Fire Emblem, got that complete. Uh, haven't played it yet, but you know I hear good things about the Fire Emblem games. Uh, Rayman Advanced. Uh, this is uh, a port of the PlayStation uh, version or any version, or any first version that came out. This is a semi port of that version. Really cool game, platformer. Mario Power Tennis, very cool to have this one. Pumped up about that. Uh, like I said, the sports games are a lot of fun. 
And this one's kind of RPG ish. Uh, you have to, I don't know, I don't I have to play more to tell you more about it. Uh, my good buddy Dan hooked me up with something I've been looking for for a long time, and that is the Mega Man Zero games. He gave me all four of them for a good price. Uh, here's part one, uh, two, three, and number four. Uh, I have the Zero Collection. The Zero games are really good games. They're just a little bit harder. I mean, they're for expert Mega Man people. I mean, you don't have to be an expert, but you just have to be the type of person that, you know, doesn't make too many mistakes in those type of games. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's that volume right of GameCube, Wii, and uh, Game Boy Advance game, well, Game Boy games, so, uh, and PSP. So, on to the next volume.